Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we're meeting up with interior designer Georgia Taffert Howe at her client's downtown duplex. Georgia's aesthetic is influenced by her love of travel, and she brought that plus a playful touch to this classic loft space. Hi, I'm Georgia of Georgia Taffert Howe Design, and welcome to NoHo. My design is greatly influenced by my love of travel. I love the hunt for objects and furniture and the stories behind them. This client was a perfect fit because she also shares a love of travel. We started with the living room and the client's one request was that it be a black and white palette. This proved to be a great jumping off point for the rest of the apartment. The room ended up being designed around this mirror, which the client loved. I knew we couldn't just hang it on an empty wall, so I designed this floor-to-ceiling bookshelf to house it. Keep in mind, the ceilings are 17 feet high in this room, but the room itself is not huge, so we needed to maximize space for her extensive collection of books and objects. I love mixing materials, and I thought there was something really beautiful about this piece of black marble juxtaposed to the white plaster chandelier. The real challenge came in finding the dining chairs. I needed something that wasn't going to compete with this black marble dining table and this huge chandelier. I just so happened to meet Charles Hollis Jones, the godfather of blue side furniture, and I knew his iconic O chair was the right fit. This ended up being a perfect dining room for a hip downtown dinner party. The client loves to cook and entertains a lot but the kitchen is open to the entire apartment and is the very first thing you see from the front door. The kitchen had to be beautiful and functional. We put cabinets anywhere we possibly could and painted them the same black lacquer as the bookshelf. I then added brass poles, including these elephant poles that my client had found on a recent trip to India. I didn't want the island to compete with the black marble of the dining table, so I used a solid black granite for the countertops. It's both durable and chic and pretty. And to add a little glamour, I used some antiqued mirrored tiles for the backsplash. Since this is a duplex, we put all the bedrooms upstairs. Before I take you to the master, I want to show you the guest room. I wanted it to feel whimsical and cozy, and a tented room reminded me of India, which both my client and I love. I poured over loads of fabrics, because if you're going to cover a room floor to ceiling and a bed in a fabric, you better love it. The master was a completely quirky layout and really did not work as a master bedroom. We started by putting in these beautiful iron frame windows and building a proper walk-in closet. After that, we could start thinking about fabrics and furniture. I had always loved this pink fabric and I knew that my client would too. Again, my love of India inspired these bedside tables, so I had these made. And now I think this room is serene without being bland. For me, any project where you feel like you're taking a journey through the space is a success. But the real success is when your client loves it as much as you do. Thank you for joining me on the tour of this NoHo Loft.